Welcome to the second episode of Storm Psychology. For those of you who missed the first one, uh, Storm Psychology is a new series that we're starting on this channel. Uh, and in each episode, we are going to pick out a psychological theory, discuss how it relates to Here's the Storm, and then learn how we can apply the theory into practice uh, to help us win more games and become a better player. Today's topic is going to be on cognitive dissonance. Uh, cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort that you experience when you either uh, hold two contradictory beliefs uh, or when you are performing an action that is contradictory to one of your beliefs or when you receive new information that challenges something that you thought you already knew. In simpler terms, dissonance is when things don't really meet up to your expectations. So, for example, uh, you set your bedtime to midnight but you stayed up until 2 a.m. playing Heroes of the Storm. Uh, you really want to gain another rank, but you know you should have gone to sleep uh, two hours ago. Uh, and because you did something that you know you shouldn't have done, uh, that went against something that you told yourself you would do, uh, you feel a little bit of shame, a little bit of discomfort. Uh, and that's where the dissonance comes into play. So. Uh, overall, cognitive dissonance is pretty unavoidable in gaming, but you can figure out where you're trying to reduce dissonance, uh, and once you do, you gain more perspective on why you're acting the way you are, and then you can figure out where you can improve your performance by adjusting your behavior and attitude in those circumstances. Alright, so we're going to start off with the instances of cognitive dissonance. Number one is talent selection. So the biggest form of dissonance in terms of talent selection comes from what talents you want to pick versus what talents a guy tells you to pick. So, for example, uh, you might go to a fantastic website called templestorm.com and look up a guide by a professional player. Uh, and you happen to really like playing Leoric with March of the Black King. But this Temple Storm guide tells you to pick Entomb. Now, your experience with Entomb says that it sucks. But because this amazing player tells you to take Entomb, uh, you keep taking it anyway. So you're taking Entomb because it seems like it's the smart thing to do, rather than it's what you really want to do. And that's where the dissonance is. That's where the cognitive dissonance comes into play. Uh, there are a few things that you can do to overcome this dilemma. Uh, you can either practice Entomb and get better at it, up until the point where you reach the skill level where you agree with the pro player that Entomb is better, or you can look up some statistics and realize that uh, the talent picks for the two heroics are basically 50-50, uh, and both the talents have similar win rates anyway, So, uh, and then you can end up becoming okay with the fact, be okay with yourself for using March of the Black King. Number two is hero selection. So another place that you might encounter dissonance is hero select. Uh, you might be an avid esports viewer. Uh, and you might think that the only assassins that are really good are Jaina and Kael'thas. And then someone goes ahead and picks Illidan in your draft, and you end up becoming really discouraged. Uh, you suddenly remember from watching tons of pro games that Illidan and Abathur have really good synergy. So uh, in an attempt to save your draft and to, to salvage this mess that has been created, uh, you force yourself to pick Abathur, even though you hate playing Abathur. So now, not only are you playing a hero that you suck at, but your team now has not only one, but two of the set of lowest win rate heroes in the game, Illidan and Abathur. Uh, and this is where you fall victim to cognitive dissonance, because your thoughts and your actions just went against each other. The best thing to do in this situation is to just play what you know how to play well, and just enjoy the game. And uh, you're going to end up winning more games like that, rather than forcing yourself into picking Abathur. And finally, number three is objectives. Uh, objectives are a pretty sensitive topic in Heroes of the Storm, uh, because everyone knows that the game revolves around objectives, so some people get really upset when their team doesn't try their absolute hardest to get every single objective. Now, because you've also been exposed to this, your mind might put a distortedly high amount of importance on objectives, uh, seeing as you're so used to getting hustled around objectives. Now, let's say that you have really low health and really low mana, but an objective is spawning right now. Uh, you know that you should just go back to base 
Uh, but because you don't want other people to yell at you, you end up just going to the objective anyway. Right as you arrive, you get one shot, seeing as you're basically already dead anyway, and you make the situation worse. So the dissonance came between what you knew you should have done and what you felt you were pressured to do, and you fell victim to it, so you ended up dying for no reason and giving the enemy team an even bigger lead. So being able to identify when these conflicts are happening will help you put more weight on the choice that you know is the correct thing to do. All right, so let's move on to a topic very close to cognitive dissonance, which is dissonance reduction. Dissonance reduction is when we change what we think or say in order to rationalize our behavior, or when we come up with an excuse as to why we did something. An example of this comes from a story called The Fox and the Grapes. So in this story, a fox encounters some grapes, and at first he thinks they look really tasty. They're very delicious grapes. Then he realizes that these grapes are really high up on a tree and he's never going to be able to reach them. So then he changes his mind and he declares that the grapes are really sour and he wouldn't want them anyway. So his expectation was that he was going to eat those delicious grapes, but he couldn't and that caused some dissonance in his mind. So in order to make himself feel better about the fact that he's not going to eat those grapes, he instead changes his mind and says that the grapes aren't delicious. So it would technically make sense that he wouldn't want to eat the grapes. So going back to Heroes of the Storm, uh, when you do something that you know you shouldn't have done, uh, there's some phrases that you might say as excuses to reduce dissonance. And uh, some of these phrases are, uh, number one is worth it. When a player makes some insanely risky play that results in a very small gain in exchange for their own death, uh, a lot of times they feel the need to defend themselves with the phrase worth it. And if they say that, it probably wasn't actually worth it. And if you're one of these people and you really think that it really was worth it, you might want to actually go back and watch a replay after the game is over, uh, after your adrenaline has dropped and after you have a calm and better judgment. Uh, and you might actually change your mind once you watch that play again. Another phrase that you might hear, and this one I particularly absolutely hate, is the game is already over. So almost everyone goes into a game expecting to win. And when they start getting smashed in the early game, they feel really unpleasant and get really upset. Uh, so these people think that they're going to lose anyway, and they want to avoid the embarrassment of losing even if they tried their best, so they end up just not trying at all. If you do this, you're an idiot. There is no shame in losing a game even though you tried your best. But there is shame in choosing to be an idiot. So don't be an idiot. All right, so now that you have a good idea of what cognitive dissonance is, start finding when these moments happen in your game and use this knowledge to your advantage. Uh, and make a conscious effort to change your bad behaviors, and you're going to make it a little farther than you did yesterday. The next storm psychology is going to be on the diffusion of responsibility, and that is the reason why someone can lay dying on the street and no one will help them. We'll talk about that next time. Start. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is they're on their boss, right? So watch this. If I channel here and I swap halfway through and I channel here, an owl should come through and miss. Yeah. 